Hey guys, it is definitely turned fall like this week in Athens. I have been staying home a lot. Um, if you saw my posts, my foot is almost healed, but not quite. Um, so I am getting out today because I'm really tired of being in the house. Um, and there's this shop that I've been seeing on my morning walks. Not that I've been doing them this week, but I wanted to go to. So I decided to, during my lunch break, I would come down here and take a look. Uh, probably won't be able to film inside. It's really small. Um, and I like to try to respect people's privacy. So, uh, but I'll show you the little square that it's in. You may be able to hear or see that it's super windy yesterday and today and for a couple of days they have canceled or altered the ferry schedule uh, for some of the islands not all of them because um, it's mainly when you get out of the port and you know being blocked by that you get blocked the, the wind gets blocked but once you get past it it's super windy um, even my like awning on my balcony has been like bouncing up and down. It's made me a little bit nervous because I've been sitting out there to work. Uh, but the temperature has been great. I actually put on a sweater this morning. So this is the little square. It's called Mercury Square. And there's a little shop here that I'm gonna go into. Um, a friend of mine recommended this place to me. I went a little nuts in there. But I haven't bought clothes in a really long time because of being nomadic other than like pieces here and there. So I bought some sort of fall winter things. I'll show you when I get back. I mean, this sort of shows you what I, how much I bought. <laughs> um, but her prices were really reasonable and the quality was really nice. Happy Saturday, everyone. It is finally the weekend and I have some plans but not lots of plans but finally I think my foot is feeling better so I'm out for my morning walk so I thought I'd just show you what a Saturday morning in Athens is like what I love about the mornings on the weekends is they're super quiet and now that it's gotten cooler it feels amazing outside here in that little archaeological site that I showed you guys a few weeks ago because it's a great place to walk but what I find super interesting is this person who is from a state who has very varied landscapes this feels like a lot like a dry riverbed rather than an ancient road and I kind of wonder if when it rains if it floods over here and if it would have been the same in ancient times because it's never fun to have your roads flood but also what i didn't mention in the last video is that there are grave sites all along this ancient road as well so what does that do if it flood now the grave sites are slightly elevated above the road so uh it's an interesting place to have a road because it feels like a riverbed I don't know if it's showing in the video, but it sort of comes down all the way and then keeps going and it actually goes under a bridge. Uh, I don't know if the site continues, but you know, it goes underneath a bridge like a river would. The last time I was here, it was super hazy. Today it's not and I can see the sea and I see a boat small well it's probably actually a large sailboat here from from here it looks small i am now gonna go eat breakfast lunch brunch uh, but i realized that i never showed you guys what i bought at the store yesterday mostly because i don't have a full-length mirror <laughs> so this is one of the t-shirts i bought it's sort of this sagey green color and then i bought these really cute earrings she was wearing them like up the ear. My ears are not big enough for that. I'm going to a place that I have eaten at before, but I have never taken you guys with me. And it's really great because they have nice big tables to sit and work at. And I need to get some writing done today. 
uh, I have plans in the works for you guys and for me. So I'm trying to get that done. However, this next week, my work life is going to change a little bit. Uh, one of my jobs I have decided to quit uh, because I got offered something else that's less time. So hopefully I can do more of my own thing because I will only have to work Monday through Thursday. So hopefully that means that I'll have more time to do the things that I want to do and make videos. So hopefully Fridays will become my work for me days rather than work for someone else days. So this is the place. I've been here before and the food is really good. The coffee is amazing. And I like that they have lots of little green plants everywhere. You can sit outside, uh, but since I need to work, that's probably not a great option for me today. Look at that. So I got the broccoli omelet and it comes with a little bit of prosciutto and I can tell that the bread must have like olive oil or butter on it already. It looks amazing. And this is my lovely coffee that I've gotten. I've already started drinking that. Let's dig in. Look at this, guys. The fountains are up and working. They look nice. So obviously I came down to Urmu, but it was so crowded on Urmu that I really didn't feel comfortable filming because I was afraid that someone might take my camera. <laughs> um, so I'm just one street over now, but it's still incredibly busy, particularly considering it's October 8th already. But I guess the season is just getting longer and longer around here. I said the other day on my Twitter that September is the best month to come to Greece, particularly if you want summer, but you don't want crowds. But if it's still too hot for you in September, come in October. I am still in shorts and short sleeves. It's about, I think, 77 degrees today. So it's still really warm, especially in the sun, but I'm not walking around sweating, which even in September happens. It's perfect, especially this year. I think last year it got cool really early. Um, also, I was in Naxos, so I'm not sure what it was like here in Athens, but sometimes it starts to rain in October, but so far it's been amazing. Hey guys, happy Sunday. Today I'm in Kyoto and I'm about to go on a dolphin watching tour. A friend of mine invited me to come a last minute, so I am up early and in Kyoto. It's great, it's, it's a perfect day. There's almost no wind and the weather is lovely. And now we are headed out. So we're actually going with two boats, um, although there's only three of us, but that's okay. Look at the color of the water. Ooh, fish. So this little beach is mm, about sort of mm, west of Lutraki and there's an archaeological site here. This used to be an ancient port. People do, do cliff diving but it's actually a great place to go swimming. I mean look at this water, like look at the fish. Uh, very nice. And there's a lighthouse over there as well. And it looks like there are signs so you could actually know what you're looking at. We just passed by some other boats and they were swimming and they said it wasn't cold, but we don't believe them. <laughs> it's about 24 degrees in the water, which for me is too cold, yeah, but it feels amazing outside. Look at that, look how green as well. We are now here at X beach you could only get here by boat as you can see oh, it is stunning the water is beautiful and it's a little chilly but it's not as bad as i thought it was gonna be 
I'll show you the underwater. So through this arch is a cave and a small beach. And you can actually go inside in the boat. We are now on the Alconinides, I forget it, I can't say it, island. It is a volcanic island. There used to be a monastery here, not anymore, but it's really beautiful. Oh, here is the abandoned monastery. Although it does look like it's being worked on. <laughs> There's a cross. Ah, oh, here's the church part. This is the little church and it looks like people still come and use it because there's material for cleaning. And it's actually in better shape than anything else that we've seen so far. Oh, wow. Look up. Oh. Oh. So if you want to get off the beaten path in Greece, but not too far from Athens, this is a really great option. You can drive to Kiato in about an hour, hour and a half, depending on traffic, and then get jump on a boat. And we've made multiple stops. We've only been on the boat for a few hours. And you can sort of ask them to go do the things that you want to do. You can do a set thing with them if you want. Uh, so it's really great. Um, and they're right now, because it's October, there are not a lot of other boats out and it's still really warm. And surprisingly, the water is still warm. <laughs> I've decided to end this video on a high note of the trip. I hope you enjoyed this, guys. If you did, I hope you'll consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.